Under oath, Zuckerberg admits, Facebook does have tools to track its users across the internet, across platforms, across accounts, all without user knowledge. I ask how many times this tool has been used domestically against Americans. Zuck won't say, wrote Senator Josh Hawley on Twitter, and then attached a screenshot of the internal tool. In recent days, my office was contacted by a Facebook whistleblower, a former employee of the company, with direct knowledge of the company's content moderation practices. And I want to start by talking about an internal platform called Tasks that Facebook uses to coordinate projects, including censorship. At the hearing, Senator Hawley outlined the use of Tasks, a tool Facebook uses to improve the workflow of Facebook employees, but is also used by Facebook employees to collaborate with Google and Twitter in censoring users across platforms. Mr. Zuckerberg, let me just ask you directly, under oath now, does Facebook coordinate its content moderation policies or efforts in any way? with Google or Twitter. Senator, I think it would be better to, to follow up once I've had a chance to discuss with my team what any uh, sensitivity around that would be uh, that um, th that might prevent um, the, the kind of sharing that you're talking about. But once I've done that, I would be happy to, to follow up. All right, so you won't, you won't commit to do it here. We could, of course, subpoena this information, but I'd much rather get it from you voluntarily. But I think, let everybody take note that, that Mr. Zuckerberg has now repeatedly refused to provide information that he knows that he has and has now acknowledged that he has, that Tasks has under oath. And a second tool called Centra that Facebook uses to track users even when they think they are anonymous. The discovery of Centra was apparently uncovered by a whistleblower. While the initial questioning about Centra was focused on how that tool could potentially have been used to sway voters in the presidential election between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, the assumed uses of Centra are still concerning to many users. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, tell me about Centra. What is the Facebook internal tool called Centra? Uh, Senator, I'm not aware of any tool with that name. Mm. Well, let me see if this refreshes your memory. There's a demonstrative now over my shoulder. Centra is a tool that Facebook uses to track its users, not just on Facebook, but across the entire internet. Centra tracks different profiles that a user visits their message recipients, their linked accounts, the pages they visit around the web that have Facebook buttons. Centra also uses behavioral data to monitor users' accounts, even if those accounts are registered under a different name. The dashboard shows a litany of data points Facebook has on individual users. And importantly, it highlights how users cannot easily escape the company's tracking, even if they wanted to. And you can see a shot here, a screenshot provided to us of the Centra platform. We blocked out the user's name in the interest of privacy, although you can see this individual's birth date and age when they first started using Facebook, their last login, as well as all manner of trackings. How many different devices have they used to access Facebook? How many different accounts are associated with their name? What accounts have they visited? What photos have they tagged? And on and on and on. One such label visible in the dashboard, three device linked IG accounts, shows that Facebook can log the same user's activity on a device, even if they switch accounts by using the device's unique hardware identifiers, like a smartphone's fixed IMEI number. Basically, you don't need to be logged into a particular account for the company to know it's you. Create a new Instagram account, and device-level identifiers will be used to recognize you're the same person. When you log into Facebook on the web, the company drops a DATR cookie that will keep track of your activity even after you log out and for up to two years thereafter. When a Facebook employee accesses a user's private information, like their private messages or their personally identifiable data, is a record made of that, Mr. Zuckerberg? Uh, Senator, I believe so. Does it trigger an audit? Uh, Senator, I think sometimes it, it may. Um, How many audits have been conducted? Senator, I do not know the exact number of can audits. Can you give me a list? Um, Senator, we can follow up on, on, on that to, to, to see what would be useful here. It's been previously reported that Facebook uses browser cookies to track people who've never created a Facebook account at all, creating shadow profiles for those it hopes might create an account later. None of this is surprising, and Facebook is far from alone in performing this type of tracking. The entire online advertising industry is built upon it. 
In order to generate a detailed profile on individuals for the purpose of precise targeting, Facebook needs as much visibility as possible into your browsing activity across devices and platforms. If you switch accounts or use a smartphone and laptop interchangeably and your browsing activity doesn't sync across them, advertisers get much less information on you with which to target ads. Fixed identifiers allow Facebook to log user activity even if they've logged out or deleted the Facebook app or are using a different web browser. The scope of this tracking may still be surprising to some people, despite awareness that Facebook collects heaps of data. Critics have said that users might be willing to exchange their data for free services. But the vast tracking apparatus used by Facebook and others is so complex as to make it difficult for the average person to know the extent of the tracking. Apple responded to these privacy concerns with its release of iOS 14, which now requires apps to request permission before they can use a device identifier. Some apps monetize via advertisements from Facebook, which requires the company to be able to identify who the user is. Without being able to link an app user to the information Facebook knows about them, the ads lose all the precise targeting secret sauce that makes them valuable. Zuckerberg has said that the change could wipe out billions in revenue. Apple has temporarily paused the change in order to give Facebook time to change its model. The Cambridge Analytica scandal and revelations from Edward Snowden about NSA wiretapping showed how this data can get into the wrong hands even if Facebook doesn't intend for it to happen. That's the fundamental concern of privacy advocates that Facebook is collecting unprecedented data in the interest of advertising, but is a poor steward of data privacy. Laws in the United States regarding privacy aren't exactly stringent either, with the Patriot Act effectively giving the government free reign to conduct secret searches of Facebook's data under the guise of national security. That risks stifling free speech. Zuckerberg said he wasn't familiar with Centra, but arose by any other name would smell as invasive. Mr. Chairman, I'll just say uh, in closing that what we have here is clear evidence of coordination between Twitter, Google, and Facebook. Mr. Zuckerberg knows he has the tools to track this, but he, won't, he either doesn't remember or won't commit to letting us see it. We have evidence of Facebook tracking its own users all across the web. Mr. Zuckerberg won't answer questions about it, can't remember the name, isn't sure if the tool is deployed in this way, and won't commit to giving us basic information. I submit to you that this is both totally unacceptable and totally predictable, because it is exactly what these tech companies have done to the American people and to Congress for years now, which is why it is time we took action against these modern robber barons. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.